Hey there, this is Jacob from RC, here today to show you how to train a domain adapted language model in Colab. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the exciting new development that we have here at RC is that we just released the domain adapted language modeling toolkit. So what this does is it allows you to train a generator model, an LLM, that generates text in the context of your vector database. So this is all in an end-to-end -end fashion. So the, the training signal that's going through the generator that's showing it how to do next token prediction is also informing the way that the retriever should pull from the vector database. This is known as a traditional RAG. So this is what the NLP community came out in a traditional end-to-end -end RAG uh, almost a couple of years ago, but it now it's implemented in an efficient way that you can run it on your own GPUs. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So what we'll do today in this Colab notebook, which is linked below in the YouTube comments, is we'll clone and install the DOM repository. Then once we have that, we'll prepare a toy data set. So what we're training on today is a triple of passage, question, and answer. So in the passage, you'll have the relevant information. In the question, you'll have a question about the passage, and then the answer will come from the document itself. So this gives your model a contextualized view that when it goes to inference time, it will know that it can rely on the retriever to generate the answer. Uh, we'll run that training in this notebook, and then we'll go ahead and run inference and eval to make sure that our training worked all right. And then we'll go ahead and do a quick query to see a larger uh, DALM model inferring in the wild and to see how this works in production. So here we'll go ahead and fire up a GPU. So you will need a GPU for this. We'll be using a free Colab T4 today. If you're gonna scale this up, you probably want an A100. That's so you can fit more examples in memory. So you'll probably want an A180 gigabyte. So after that, you go ahead and clone the DALM repository. So this will clone it down from the repository we were just looking at and we'll install the dependencies. So here, uh, you'll install uh, different Hugging Face libraries. So we're working with transformers, we're working with Peft, and we're working with bits and bytes to get things to run faster here. Then we can go ahead and prepare a data set. So here we'll be working from a small toy data set. So here we have, uh, we have the uh, toy data, which has a question, an answer, and an abstract. And here you see, we'll just train on about 20 examples just for the, the purpose of a demo here. But if you're bringing your own passages, you should have question and answer pairs, or if you don't, you can use our QA generation. So this will actually look at the passage and then it will generate a question and answer off of it. And this is a good way if you need to automate a large QA generation and it still works quite well in practice. So now we'll go ahead and train a DOM on this data set. So what you're doing here is you're hooking up that passage, those triples, and you're hooking that up to a retriever model that's gonna retrieve at inference time, and you're hooking it up to a generator. So that's where we're going to do BGE large from Hugging Face and we're going to do a GPT Neo from Hugging Face. So we're going to have those uh, two start to talk to each other. So let's go ahead and kick this off. So the novel thing that we did here is when you're doing training, so you're doing the next token prediction on the generator and typical fine tuning, you're doing a question and answer. What we did here is we injected into the middle the context document. And this is the thing that you know you're going to actually have at inference time is you're going to have a content, context document to look at. And then we marginalize the loss. So when you, when you pass the loss through, you're not only passing loss through the, the generator that you're training, but you're passing that all the way through to the retriever model. And that's the unique thing that the RC team has, has embedded and implemented well here, is that uh, this end-to-end -end differential loss will pass all the way through your retriever and really train it jointly, and you get a really good signal from, from a generator that way. So now let's, uh, we, we can see that completed, which is pretty fast because it's built on PEFT, and we'll go ahead and run eval here and see how our model is doing. So what this does is it simulates the inference time of a vector DB. So here you kind of have all those documents and passages that you can look from. We're uh, popping in here the, the toy data set that we trained on, which is actually not that bad in retrievers because uh, you, you have the whole data set that you're gonna be using in production. Um, and we'll go ahead and simulate here with each query, you know, how well are we getting the passages back that we should have been getting back. And of course, this is a small train data set, so we fit it perfectly. We have a recall of one, precision of one, and a hit rate of one. So that's showing you that the loss is propagating well through. And of course, now you want to scale this up on your own large uh, passage data set. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like on a uh, bigger uh, context. So at RC, we've been working on making some of these DOM models. So you can see we have DOM patent and PubMed here. And uh, the patent has indexed everything of the US patents that are there. So let's go ahead and create this and see what it looks like. So here I'm seeing if there's any amphibious vehicles uh, that have been invented before. So you can see here that it went through all the US patents and it found uh, amphibious vehicles. And uh, this is the, the kind of contextual learning that we want it to be learning, how to fit our vector database well in context and language that it hasn't necessarily seen on the web. And uh, that's all for our demo today. Hope you liked it and uh, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.